And what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going over my MLB Price Picks plays for Friday. Happy Friday to everybody watching. It was a good day yesterday if you played the Price Picks plays. Went 4-1. and one. Just missed the sweep with uh, Tias Hernandez not coming through. But we hit the over 43.5 fantasy points on Shohei Otani, who had 11 strikeouts. Alex Wood had a no-hitter going into the seventh inning. Eventually lost that, gave up a couple runs, but still finished with you know, over 27.5 fantasy points. Finished with 33. Fantasy points, the Dodgers put up 13 runs, blanked the Rockies in cores, and Trey Turner went off. We only needed nine over, we needed 10 fantasy points, and he had a crazy good game with three hits, a double, stolen base, three RBIs, three runs scored. He like tripled that fantasy score. And the Mookie Bats got there as well with a couple of singles and a couple of runs scored, cleared it by a half. Uh, just missed out on Teoscar Hernandez, but otherwise 4-1, and one, a good day. If you played it, let's keep it going today. As always, hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you're looking to join for football. Still up. Season pass at discount. You can check that out down below. Twitter for updates at the DFS process, and you can use my code process to sign up on Price Picks. Hopefully, they get to more states soon. So today, we got a pretty fun board. We got a lot of games as usual on Friday. There's a couple of nerfies that I really like today. And looking at the over strikeout props, like Kyle Wright looks fine at over five and a half strikeouts. Uh, Shane Bieber at over six and a half strikeouts. You can sign me up for that. Uh, scrolling down a little bit further to like. Uh, Joe Ryan or a Perez has been kind of pushing at that number all season and the Angels strike out just an absolute ton so that's another one that I like but I'm going to start off with some nerfies and uh, late the late games have a couple of nerfies that I really like starting with the Athletics and White Sox under half a run here in the first inning looking at this game uh, we have Lance Lynn going at it for the White Sox and he's been he was really good in his last start he went like six strong, and then the bullpen blew his win, but he, they still ended up coming back and getting the job done. And then you have James Kaplan on the other side. Like, I uh, still think that you're only going to have to worry about the White Sox kind of ruining this. I don't see the, the A's scoring a run in the first inning, and Kaplan's been fine you know, this year. He's not been great, but uh, last start he was able to not give up a run in the first inning, and he's worked some decent games this year. So that's the first nerfie that I like. Uh, the second and third nerfies would be the uh, looking at the Angels and Rangers under half a run in the first inning like you can do a full nerfie with this board with these three nerfies maybe we can take out the athletics one if you're not that confident but I'd probably say that these two one are a little bit better because you know better ballparks for nerfies in the Twins and Padres game you got Blake Snell and Joe Ryan two solid pitchers been great all year and then the Rangers have been struggling scoring runs and we know the Angels struggle scoring runs all season so that's another nerfie that I like and then the last one, if you wanted to top it off, would be the Giants-Cubs nerfy as well. Uh, in San Francisco, it's a nice big ballpark, which is good for nerfies. So that could be, there's like three or four nerfies that I really like. Uh, those would be my favorites, but I'll stick with two for right now. The Angels-Rangers nerfy and the Padres-Twins nerfy. Looking at the pitcher fantasy score, I'm going to Sandy Alcantara at over 40.5 fantasy points. I mean, he's been great all year, Cy Young. Leading the race in National League in Cy Young by far. I mean, nobody's really close to him at this point. Against the Mets this year, he's faced up three times already. He has gone a combined 23 innings with a total of 16 strikeouts. He's given up a couple. He's given up six earned runs, but he still works really deep into games. And you're looking at him going probably seven strong at least because he hasn't gone under seven in quite some time. Possibly eight innings. Uh, just if he's able to keep his stuff dialed in like he always is, he gives you Super high probabilities for quality starts because rarely gives up a lot of runs in any of his starts. And you know, I just think that he'll be able to rack up some strikeouts. You don't need a ton, but if he's able to go like seven, eight innings, get you four or five strikeouts, get the quality start, possibly get the win. Not convinced against the Mets, but we'll see. The number is pretty low. Last time was like 47 and a half over fantasy points, and he just missed it uh, by half, I think, or maybe one run. Or one point. But today I like his over 40 and a half. It's cheaper than some of the other studs. Uh, the second one that definitely like is uh, Garrett Cole. Look to bounce back after the O's hit him around pretty good in his most recent start. But I got to go Lance Lynn right now over 33.5 fantasy points. Um, there's nobody to really worry uh, worry about in this athletics lineup. Lance Lynn is you know, missed a lot of the season with injury, but he's starting to come around right now. If we look at his uh, season stuff so far, you know he has a 440 exit of his last 30 days. It's up to 4.75, but still has about 21% strikeout rate. It's just a matchup here. you got so many strikeouts in this Athletics lineup. These are over the last 30 days. If you look at this season, you still have high strikeouts for Pinder and Loriano and Piscotti and Bolt. Uh, so 
also a lot of righties here. We've got like a couple switch hitters, a couple lefties, and Lance Lynn against righties this year, 29% strikeout rate compared to 15% against uh, lefties, and he's really hit. I mean, he's really done well against righties, holding them to just to a .111 ISO. So at that number, I gotta go Lance Lynn, and then you got some other stars to consider here, like uh, Justin Verlander. Talked about Garrett Cole. Going further down, you have like Joe Ryan and Blake Snell, both have pretty good numbers here at 28 and a half respectively. Uh, but I will stick with Justin Verlander, superstar, also making a case for Cy Young in the American League. Looks great, you know, for his age, he's been pitching awesome. Hasn't really missed a beat. Looking at the matchup for him against the Mariners, uh, we can see that he has a 26.1% strikeout rate this season. You have some decent. Heavy strikeout guys, a couple would be Suarez and the catcher rally. Other guys would be Rodriguez. Uh, other guys are in the middle teens here. We've got some lefties, uh, but uh, looking at Verlander stuff, he's actually been better against lefties this year with a 28% strikeout rate compared to 24. ISO is under 100.072 in 211 at-bats. So you're looking at only 1, 2, 3, 4 righties and 5 lefties. You can uh, count me for that, sign me up for that. Those splits against Verlander. And then other ones would be like Rod, uh, Julio Juarez. I'd like his number. Uh, possibly Brandon Woodruff against Boston. They've been scuffling a little bit. Uh, Manoa is at 43.5. Looks okay. I'd probably like, like Bieber more for five points less. Uh, but there's a lot of good props today, especially a pitcher uh, for the Nerfies. Looking at some batter props, it would once again stick with like the Coors game for my favorites. It's Coors and the Blue Jays today, like the top stacks. Uh, so over eight and a half on like Springer, probably Boucher. I like that a lot. Uh, and then I don't think they have the cores one up. I mean, they should. Yeah, they do. Trey Turner at nine and a half. Once again, you can run that back. Freeman, Betts, I like all those guys here. Uh, they have another high total, another seven plus total for the Dodgers today. But sticking with the Nerfies and sticking with the pitcher is kind of my bread and butter that I like. So that's what I got for you guys today on Price Picks. Under half a run, Angels, Rangers, under half a run Padres Twins first innings and then taking three over fantasy points on Sandel Contra, Lance Lynn, and Verlander. Best of luck today. Hope you guys win some money, and I will see you all next time.